So I don't know if I am the only one that hasn't known about this. However, this is a really, really cool feature that I have discovered about the Wing and the X32 M32 app that I had no idea that you could do. But it is a total game changer for setting up shows before they even happen. And as long as you have an input and output list, you can do all of your setup beforehand and be ready to go for showtime. So let's jump on this and I will show you what I'm talking about. All right, so what I am referring to is in the X32, the Behringer Wing app, both of them will do this the same way as the other will do. And what I'm talking about is being able to set up a show before even having a console near you. So let's dive in and I'll show you what I'm talking about. So on my screen here, you're gonna see, I'm gonna open up the X32 edit app and you'll see that everything is completely blank and that um, I am not connected to a mixer. You'll see that on the top as well. If I go into setup, you'll see that there is nothing near me, nothing on my network. I cannot connect to a single mixer. So here's what you can do. You can change the name of your channels. Let's just call this one kick drum. We can go into the channel itself. We can turn on and off phantom power. You can do a bunch of really cool stuff as if you are connected to the mixer. You can set up a gate, you can do your dynamics, your compression, your EQ, you can cut and uh, add stuff to your EQ, and then you can do your sends, everything right here without being connected to a mixer. So what does this let you do? This will let you set up a show before you even get there and have everything ready to go to where all you have to do is plug it in, load your scene onto your console and you're ready to go and then just do some final tweaking because you already know the stuff that you're going to cut for the most part that every kick drum you have to cut every snare drum you have to cut your vocals you're always going to have some mud that you're going to have to take out so this will help you save a lot of time on show date so once you get everything where you want it all you have to do is go to the save button save as scene and then you can type out what you want the scene to be called and then have it on a USB drive, plug it in, and you are off to the races. Now, I just recently discovered that you can do this. I don't know why I never thought that you could do it. So if you are like me, I hope that this helps you save a lot of time in the future and get more comfortable with the user interfaces of these consoles. Now, until next time, hit that like and subscribe button so you know every time I post a video, and that these videos will be helpful for you in the future. Thanks for watching, and I will catch you in the next one. Thanks.